Okay, so I just got off work and I sort of just wanted to let you know about the interesting sort of weekend I had. Um, so, remember how I said that my May budget may change? It has changed. Um, few reasons. Uh, I had a bit of an issue on Thursday. I woke up in a lot of pain. Um, it wasn't that, well, it wasn't that bad, but it was like abnormal pain that I don't normally feel. So, um, took a shower, got ready for work, um, decided to still go in and I went in. Um, it ended up not getting any better. So, um, I told my boss like, look, I'm going to have to go to the clinic. So she let me off early and I went to the clinic and, um, uh, basically it was like some stomach pain that was going on. He basically told me that I most likely have an ulcer. <laughs> um, and so he gave me some meds and he's like, well, it should kick in, um, probably in, in a day or two. And I'm like, okay, that's good. Um, so I went home, I messaged my boss. I'm like, look, I'm not going to be able to come in tomorrow because well, um, still not feeling well. I got some medication. Hopefully they kick in by Monday. Um, so that was that I, I took the prescription as you know, directed, um, and went to bed around like nine thirty that night. And at eleven thirty seven, to be exact, I woke up in like a massive amount of pain. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a shower, see if that helps. Usually like I figured like maybe it was just like a muscle contracting or something. Um, I took a shower real quick and it really didn't help. So I'm like, okay, well I got to go to the emergency room. I can't really stand this. So I went to the emergency room I uh, got to spend a couple hours there. That's always super fun. Um, and yeah, so basically they couldn't tell me right as I was there what was wrong with me because they had to do, um, we did an ECG first because, you know, with chest pain, they're like, oh, it's, you know, it might be your heart, but that wasn't it. Um, then we had blood work drawn, um, uh, see if anything showed on there and my blood work came back fine. Um, by the time the blood work came back, I was, I was feeling better. I'm like, look, I'm feeling better. He's like, okay, um, we're going to schedule in for an ultrasound in the morning. Um, so you can go now, but, uh, you're going to get a call to be booked for an ultrasound, um, by the emergency department. I'm like, okay. So I, um, took a back cab back home cause I didn't drive my car cause I didn't know how long I was going to be there or like, I didn't want to leave my car at the hospital. Right. So, um, Took a cab back home, uh, went to bed for a couple hours because, like I said, I was, I was feeling better. I woke up at like 7 30 from a call from the hospital being like, Oh, your appointment's at this time. At 9 30, I'm like, Okay, cool. Um, so I went in, had the ultrasound, which is not really that fun. Um, when they're sort of pressing on your stomach like over and over again, it's like, and they're like digging into you. But, um, so it took about 30 minutes to get through the, the ultrasound of my, my abdomen. And, um, I'm like, oh, you gotta go back to the emergency room for these results. I'm like, okay, cool. I figured I'd just like, you know, doctor just wants to see me just get right in. Right. Yeah, no, not the case. You still have to wait. <laughs> so I was again, waiting for like an hour and a half, um, to get the results. They bring me to the room. She's like, oh yeah, you have gallstones. And I'm like, Great. She's like, so we're going to book you in for a general surgeon. Um, and you're going to get a call for that. Uh, you know, she didn't say what, I'm not really high priority because the pain's gone, right? If it becomes a recurrent issue, then I'm high priority. Um, but at this point it's, it's not really, it's just more of a nuisance. And she's like, so stick to, um, basically it's, it's, um, I'm having trouble digesting fat. So she's like, um, stick to like non fatty foods and, you know, stay away from the, you know, fast food joints. You probably stop that. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. So yeah, I went grocery shopping yesterday. I forgot to do the grocery haul video. Um, so that won't be coming up, but, um, but yeah, so reason my budget's going to change is because, well, um, A, I had to 
I missed a couple of days of work. So that's the, the first little bit of it is that second little bit of it is, um, one of my jobs decided, um, instead of paying me my, my vacation time, they did it as unpaid leave. Um, so I didn't get the money for that. So like one of my paychecks was like short, like $350. So I'm just going to reduce my budget a bit. Um, it just means less debt payments towards this month, but it'll go back up next month. And, you know, maybe down the road, I'll use my vacation time for like Christmas or something. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, why my budget is going to be changing for the month of May. But, um, as for like the, I did spend $40 in cab fare that I didn't really account for, but there's really no point in actually taking that out of my emergency fund. Like I can just, um, I ended up pulling the cash out of, uh, the car emergency envelopes, which technically sort of applies considering it was an emergency and I needed a car ride. So let's, let's, we'll just go with that. Um, and then that way I don't really have to pull my emergency fund when I don't want to. Um, so yeah, I pulled it out of there. So, um, maybe next month I'll just, um, add a little bit more to my car emergency fund and, and go from there. And so, yeah, that was my weekend and, uh, on to dieting, which is super, well, it's not really dieting. It's just eating healthier. And I've like, you can really, <laughs> I can really tell that my gallbladder is not working because like I tried eating something that I probably shouldn't have. Like I've been eating healthier, but, um, as soon as like I put something fatty in, in, in my mouth, it was like a couple hours later, I was like dying again. So, um, basically I got to <laughs> sort of prove a point where I got to actually stick to the no, um, no fats. Um, cause I cannot process them at all at this point. So yeah. That's pretty much the gist of it. So, uh, look forward to the whole finding stuff to eat that doesn't have like high fat content, which yay for vegetables. Yum. And some fruits. I'm just a really picky eater. So this is going to be a little bit difficult. So, but you know, it's either going to be difficult or extreme pain. So I'd prefer difficult. So we're going to go with that. All right. Well, um, I will talk to you guys later. Feel free to like, and subscribe as always. Have a good one.